Good morning, first graders. Welcome to Reading Workshop. Today, we are going to work on I Can Get to Know Other Characters. Yesterday, we focused on learning about the main character, and today, we're going to start thinking about other characters. Touch your nose if you know the movie Toy Story. Yeah, and can I tell you something? The first time I watched Toy Story, I learned all about Woody. I learned what he liked, what he didn't like. I learned who, what he looked like. I learned all about Woody. But is the whole story about only Woody? No, there's Rex and Andy and Mr. Potato Head and who else? That's right, Buzz Lightyear, exactly. When you watch Toy Story, you don't just meet Woody, you also meet all of his other friends. I mean, who could read Winnie the, Winnie the Pooh without Piglet? Or who could have Shark, um, Shrek without Donkey? Or we can't talk about Princess Anna without Elsa, that's right. It's really important that you know the star of the story, but it's also important that you pay attention to the other characters in the story as well. Today, I want to teach you that readers don't just get to know the character who's the star of the story. They get to know the other characters too. When you learn about other characters, you end up knowing the main character even better. So today, we're gonna pay attention to other characters too. Yesterday, we learned a bunch about Mr. Putter. We learned that he loves to take naps and that he wants to play baseball. And we even learned he has a cat named Tabby. But if we want to know Mr. Putter even better, it will be important to learn about the other characters. Who else is in the story? Does Mr. Putter have friends, family? Let's read to find out. We're going to start on chapter two where we left off. Chapter two, the team. Mr. Putter found his mitt. Now all I need is a team, he told Tabby. Mr. Putter called his friend and neighbor, Mrs. Teaberry. Oh, there's another character in this story, Mrs. Teaberry. She's Mr. Putter's friend and neighbor. Let's be sure to pay attention so that we can learn about Mrs. Teaberry too. Mrs. Teaberry would know about a team. She was very sporty. She even walked the dogathon with her good old dog, Zeke. Let's stop and think. What have we learned so far about Mrs. Teaberry? Shout it at the screen. Good. We learned that she was sporty. Maybe that's why Mr. Putter is calling her about baseball, because she's sporty. What else did we learn? Good. We learned she has a dog named Zeke. Let's keep collecting more information about these two friends. Of course there's a team, said Mrs. Teaberry. It's called the Yankee Doodle Dandies. Am I too old to play? Asked Mr. Putter. Heavens no, said Mrs. Teaberry, handing Zeke a sniffy bone. You will feel young on that team. Will my knees feel young on that team? Asked Mr. Putter. You are not too old and neither am I, said Mrs. Teaberry. We'll both play. Hmm, are you learning more about Mrs. Teaberry? Are you learning more about Mr. Putter? That's right. They're worried that they're too old to play sports. That reminds me of the beginning of the story when Mr. Putter kept taking naps. Maybe he was taking naps because he's older and he gets sleepy easier. But did you notice what Miss Teaberry said? She said, we are not too old. We will both play. Hmm, I think she's a good friend to Mr. Putter because she's convincing him to play the sport that he loves. And I can tell she's excited to play because look at that smile on her face. Wow, do you see how we are learning more about Mrs. Teaberry, which is also teaching us more about Mr. Putter? Thumbs up if you can see that. As you read today, I want you to think, who else is in my story? What are you gonna think about? That's right. So pay really close attention to the main characters, friends, family, 
neighbors, anyone else in the story. And when you learn about the relationships that characters have together, you will get to know your main character even better. Readers, I'm realizing that you can't learn about Pinky without Rex, and you can't learn about Henry without Mudge, and you can't learn about Frog without Toad, just like you can't learn about Mr. Putter without Mrs. Teaberry. Today, I give you a challenge to write another post-it note in your book with a new character's name and a new fact about that character. Because we know, as strong readers, we have to get to know all the characters in the story. You are going to do an awesome job today, readers. Stack those books nice and tall, get comfy cozy, and get ready to meet some new friends in your story today. Have a great time reading.